was just reported today that Demi Lovato is healing up all right after her drug overdose, and now she's going back to rehab. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about Demi Lovato's relapse and what she's gonna have to do if she wants to stay clean. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today we got great news that Demi Lovato is going back to rehab. This is a big deal and I'm gonna dive more into what you gotta do after relapse to stay clean, but it's a big deal because a lot of people relapse and they don't try to get treatment for a multitude of reasons, all right? So this is awesome. I'm very, very happy for Demi Lovato and I'm glad that she has a strong support group to help her out through this. So. Before we jump into this, let's get caught up on the story. So on July 24th, I think it was, it was reported that Demi Lovato overdosed. She went to the hospital. Um, there was a lot of stories going around, whether it was heroin or other drugs and things like that. Um, it came out that it wasn't heroin. And real quick, I'm just gonna touch on this very slightly. A lot of people, a day or two later, started like, tweeting out or saying things like, it wasn't heroin, these are terrible lies, terrible lies. I'm like, here's my thing, here's my thing. Does it matter, does it matter? Like, I, I think like that just shows the stigma from drug to drug. Like, what if it was alcohol poisoning? Would it be lesser that she almost killed herself because of alcohol and not heroin? Who cares? Or what if it was benzos? What if it was pills? Does it really matter if it was pills or was it heroin? A drug is a drug, alcohol is alcohol, addiction is addiction. If it's killing you, who cares what the substance is? But anyways, that's my quick little rant. All right, but she's been in the hospital. She was having some medical issues, so she hadn't gone to treatment yet. But today we found out that she's healing up better and my beautiful girlfriend sent me an article from People Magazine in which it talks about Demi Lovato going to treatment. So I'm just gonna read a few quotes from this article. It says, sources tell People the 25 year old Sorry Not Sorry singer has agreed to enter a drug treatment center following a relapse and overdose that has left her hospitalized for the past 10 days. Demi is well enough to leave the hospital this weekend. She has agreed to rehab and will go straight to an inpatient facility. One source says, it's her choice to go to rehab. This is not anything that can be forced. She understands the severity of her overdose and the recovery has been very challenging for her. The source continued, she wants to be sober, she wants to get help, she understands that it will take a lot of work and commitment to stay healthy, but this is what she wants, all right? So beautiful, awesome news. All right, so before I jump into this thing, all right, you might be sitting there, especially if you don't know me and you're not subscribed yet, which you should do, all right? You might be saying like, who is this guy to talk about Demi Lovato's relapse? Well, on June 23rd of this year, I celebrated six years clean and sober. My substances of choice started with alcohol, went into prescription painkillers, and I did a whole assortment of other drugs, all right? And I am somebody who has relapsed many, many, many times before I was able to get the clean date that I have right now. Aside from that, I've been working in a drug and alcohol treatment center for the last three years, and my facility specializes in dual diagnosis, what this means is not only do we treat addiction, but we also treat underlying mental illnesses, anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder, PTSD, and all of the other ones out there. So I have a little bit of experience when it comes to this topic, all right? So I'm going to be talking about how to stay clean and sober after a relapse. These are lessons that I've learned for myself, as well as seeing thousands, literally thousands, I'm not exaggerating, thousands of people who have come in after a relapse and what works and doesn't work, all right? So do me a favor and share this video. Share this video, even if it's not to share news about Demi Lovato, share this with somebody who has relapsed or, you know, is dealing with addiction. Like, I'm gonna provide some very valuable information. All right, so I just wanna hit on a few quick topics about how Demi Lovato can stay clean and sober, all right? This, this is just from my experience and what I've seen, what works and what doesn't work. Obviously, I don't know Demi Lovato, but this is just from what I've seen, all right? So the first thing is don't lose hope. Never lose hope. I see people who have relapsed time and time and time again, and they're just going through the motions. And it's because they've lost hope, right? Like I'm somebody where I laid in a hospital bed dying and I wanted my family to give up on me. I'm like, just let me die. Just let me leave this world as a drug addict alcoholic. Nothing's gonna work for me. I've already tried this thing before. Clearly it didn't work. This is just the way it is. I lost hope. So one thing she has to do is just realize that there is hope available. And all of you out there, I've met people who have relapsed way more times than I did and they're staying clean and they're living amazing lives today. So never lose hope. The next one, which is more important than anything, this is the biggest one, stay humble and stay 
teachable, all right? This is probably gonna be Demi Lovato's biggest challenge. After you've been clean, especially for like years, and Demi Lovato had like six years, when you're going after uh, your sobriety again, you think you know everything. You know everything, trust me. In my rehab, I see this all the time, and I experience this too. Like, what are you gonna teach me that I don't already know? Don't do drugs, right? Don't drink. Right? Like, like that's what we hear. So when people tell me like, no, Chris, I already know this, I know that, and da, 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 da. And like, here's the thing that I have to say to anybody out there, like, clearly something didn't sink in. Something didn't sink in or you wouldn't have relapsed, right? And sometimes we gotta start back right at square one and just stay humble and stay teachable. This is hard because it means letting go of our ego, letting go of our pride and admitting to ourselves, I don't know everything. I don't know everything and there's something that I need to learn. I need to have a new experience with this. So Demi really needs to stay humble and stay teachable. Take all this in, see what happened, evaluate what happened and led to her last relapse and what she can learn from it to avoid these pitfalls in the future. Next is Demi's going to have to, again, humble herself and realize that she's not better than anyone, all right? Like something I can't stress enough and I've done videos about this in the past, right? Like. Drug addiction doesn't care. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care how much money you make. It doesn't care how famous you are. It doesn't care about any of that stuff. It will kill you, okay? I interact with people all the time who walk in, they're like, oh, I'm not bad as that person. I'm like, oh, you did that? I'm not that bad. I'm not this bad. I'm not that, right? And it's gonna be a struggle for Demi Lovato because she's rich. She's famous. So when she goes to treatment, I'm guessing she's going to like, a pretty fancy rehab, but it's easy for people to think they're better than other people. Oh, I never did that, I never sunk to this low, da 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 da. And it's like, we're all the same. We're all suffering from this same illness. And again, addiction doesn't care what you have, it will kill you. So that's one of the issues that Demi Lovato is going to have to deal with for the rest of her life because she's in the public spotlight, right? She is rich, she is famous, she's an amazing artist, right? But she's gonna have to remember, she's just like the rest of us when it comes to this insidious disease of addiction. So the last thing I'll say, and like I said, I don't know Demi personally, but when I'm like doing research about Demi Lovato, like aside from like her mental illness and drug issues, the number one search result is like Demi Lovato drama. Demi Lovato drama. Or Demi like, you know, uh, sassing somebody on Twitter and all this other stuff. Like Demi is gonna need to cut that out. She needs to be nicer. She has to be nicer. And I know Demi's worked 12 step programs before. I know it. And in these programs, we talk about practicing certain principles. And some of those principles are patience, tolerance, understanding, love, kindness, forgiveness, all these things, right? And here's why that's so important. I think this is gonna be the key to Demi's uh, recovery is that she needs to be nicer to people. She just has to be. And here's why. Like, let me play this tape out for you because I was I was there too. I was a jerk. I was so angry and frustrated with people on the inside. Like, I always had to tell people when they were wrong or when they were dumb or da da da, da all this other stuff, right? What it does is, is that people attack you more often. Okay, people come at you when you're on the offense all the time or even on the defense, right? You're getting all defensive about stuff. People are going to attack you even more because you're not treating them with kindness. You're not treating them with uh, compassion. You're fueling the fire. So you are increasing your own anger by not letting go, by not tolerating stuff, okay? Like this is something like, in 12 step programs, we take this moral inventory. We take a look at things in our life that are not being useful to us. And it is not useful to be a jerk to people, all right? But uh, on another level too is, people don't wanna hang out with you. It's very hard to have loving, supportive people when you're being a jerk and pushing your friends away and having all this drama and stuff like that. You need to learn how to let stuff go. So I think a huge part of this is that Demi's gonna have to work on anger management, right? She's gonna have to work on some love and compassion and things like like that, like this is going to be huge, huge. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Our anger will take us back out. They often say that resentments are like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies. It's only hurting us, it's only hurting ourselves. So I hope now that Demi is going back into rehab that she starts all over and she gets involved in the 12 step program, she works the steps. And a lot of people who I see relapse and then they succeed is they go back and they say, you know what? I wasn't really thorough with that. Or clearly that lesson went over my head 
because I don't practice it. Or I did really good, and this is something I see a lot with people who get years of sobriety, they were doing really well with it in early recovery, but as time went on, they forgot those principles. And that's why we need to humble ourselves, stay teachable, and start back at square one. One of the reasons I love my job and working with everybody trying to get clean is they remind me on a daily basis of these lessons that I learned very in the very beginning that I still need to practice to this day, all right? But anyways, best of luck to Demi Lovato. I'll be following her and seeing how things going. Not following her like literally, that'd be creepy. But anyways, I'll be following her story and see how she's doing and keep you guys posted. But let's do this. For any of you out there who are in recovery and you've struggled with a relapse, leave comments below. What are your best tips for staying sober and clean after a relapse, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being, as well as talking about addiction. Click that little round subscribe button. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you wanna check out some more content, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.